Today's Gospel Sunday, July 14, is from St. Mark chapter 6, verse 7 to 13. Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from that place. Whatever place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. They drove out many demons, and they anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Father Ray Helia of the Order of the Servants of Mary, a committed evangelizer, a faithful preacher. This Sunday's Gospel story leaves us several important lessons worth pondering on. First, the disciples were summoned and sent. They did not go out to their mission on their own initiative and volition. Tinawag sila ni Jesus at isinugo. It was an act of empowering and commissioning them for the mission. They outrightly obeyed the command of Jesus without question. And as they went along their way, They were assured of Jesus' power and authority, an authority even over unclean spirits and demons. This is also true to us, servers in the church. We do not go out on our own way and preach to people without delegated authority. We should be ready to answer those who might ask, On whose authority do you speak and preach? Authority is important. Without it, our efforts in preaching become powerless and devoid of effectiveness. A self-proclaimed prophet is a hoax and fake. Second, the disciples must rely most of the time on divine providence. They should free themselves from worldly worries and attachments. Jesus gave the disciples a very clear and precise instruction. Take nothing for the journey, no food, no sack, no money. Why? Because God will provide this to them through generous people who will accept them and their message. Para bang sinabi ni Jesus, relax lang. Ako bahala sa inyong tirahan at pagkain. After all, he said that the laborer deserves his own payment. They only have to work to preach the good news. Kami mga pare, for example, ay di nagwo-worry sa pera, pagkain at tirahan kasi di naman kami mawawalan nito. Maraming mga tao ang magbibigay sa amin ng pagkain, damit at pera paminsan. Tumataba nga kami eh. As long as we preach and celebrate Mass for the people, They feel like duty-bound to support us in our needs. Marami talagang nagbibigay, lalo na kapag Pasko. Minsan nga, may nagbigay sa akin at nagtanong, Father, kamusta po yung binigay ko? Sagot ko naman, (laughs) masarap po. Sabi sa akin, Father, t-shirt po yun eh. (laughs) Jesus reminds us to trust in God's providence. Just work for Him. Third, the disciples must see to it that the Christian message sinks. This is the reason why Jesus gave them the strict instruction to stay and not transfer from one house to another. They should give ample time to let the message be understood and received before leaving the place. Ang pagtuturo ay hindi minamadali. Kailangan marahan at buong tiyaga upang lubos itong maunawaan at matatanggap. The gospel message is 
so precious that it needs to take root in our hearts. It's like a pearl of great price that needs to be received with an open mind and a joyful heart. In all this, we should remember that God is always with us when we do our mission in life. Our success may not matter the most, but our fidelity to the Lord is what matters most. After all, we are called and sent not to be always successful, but to be faithful. Be a committed evangelizer. Let us pray. Lord, let me preach you wholeheartedly and rely solely on your providence and generosity. Amen. Take out for the week. We are called and sent to the world not to be always successful, but to be faithful. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.